Hi everybody. In a previous video, I showed you how to set up and initialize the Shelly Plus add-on with a Shelly Plus 1PM. I'll leave a link in the video description if you want to take a look. In this video, I'm going to connect and set up a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. Make sure you've already set up and initialized your Shelly add-on before you go forward. This is the sensor that I bought. It's called an AM2302, but essentially it's a DHT22 with a protective case and is pre-wired. I like the idea of the case to protect the sensor from damage. I'll leave a link in the description for the sensor in case you want to check it out. The sensor is powered between 3.3 and 5.5 volts DC, which it takes from the Shelly device itself, so no need for external power supplies. It measures temperature in the range of minus 40 all the way up to plus 80 degrees Celsius. It also measures relative humidity up to 99.9%. .9%. Temperature is plus or minus half a degree and humidity plus or minus 2%. So it seems to be quite accurate. First thing is to power off the Shelly and then connect these three wires to one of the input channels on the Shelly add-on. Red is positive power supply. Black is ground and yellow is the signal channel. With a small screwdriver, put the red wire in the VCC slot, then the yellow wire in the data slot, and finally the black wire in the ground slot. Once all three wires are secured, head over to your PC, open up a web browser, and navigate to the IP address for the Shelly Plus 1PM. Mine is 192.168.1.246. Yours will be different, of course, so navigate to the correct IP address. Once you're on the web page for the Shelly, click the add-on menu item on the left-hand side. Here we can add a peripheral by clicking the blue plus button, then select your sensor from the drop-down list and click save and reboot. Then once the Shelly has rebooted, you can see the two channels for temperature and humidity. Click on the little blend, uh, blue pen icon and there are a number of parameters that you can change. The first is the option to give the peripheral a name. The second uh, is the delta threshold. This is the minimum change in the peripheral value required to report a change. And lastly is the offset. This is where you can calibrate the value if you need to. I'll do another video soon showing you how you can use uh, the peripheral values to control the behavior of the Shelly One uh, Plus PM. Uh, in the meantime, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.